Hello everybody. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about what is MACD indicator, what are MACD components, how to find MACD lines, signal line, and histogram, how to install MACD indicator in your price chart, and finally, what is the interaction between MACD indicator and the price trend. MACD stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Gerald Appiel was the creator of MACD indicator in the late 1970s. MACD indicator is a trend following, trend capturing momentum that can identify retracement in an excellent way. With this indicator, we can see whether we are facing with a trendy market or a volatile market. We can also find out whether the market is upward or downward. MACD indicator is designed to generate buy signal when the market is positive and sell signal when the market is negative. With this indicator, we can forecast the direction, momentum, speed, acceleration, and market power. MACD indicator consists of six essential elements. The first one is EMA 12, exponential moving average with the 12 days period, which is the fast moving average. EMA 26, which is the slow moving average. MACD line, signal line, MACD histogram, and histogram zero line. MACD line is mathematically obtained by subtracting the value of EMA 26 from the value of EMA 12. As a result, MACD turns the two moving averages into a momentum oscillator, which in turn offers the best of both trend following and momentum indicator. The signal line can simply be obtained by the nine day EMA of the MACD line. The histogram, which measures the momentum of the market, is obtained by subtracting the value of MACD line from the signal line. The histogram consists of rectangular shaped bars with two different colors, namely green color when MACD is above the zero line, and red color when MACD is below the zero line. Zero line is characterized as positive, whatever is above the line, and negative, whatever is below the line. How to install MACD indicator in your chart? You can choose any technical software and click on indicator button and install MACD indicator. In this presentation, the examples and price chart is taken from Yahoo Finance. As you see from this chart, on the top left hand corner there is a button called indicator and you press on this button a window will will open like this with the list of all indicators look for a macd indicator which is right here and click on that Another window will open like this with three numbers and four different colors, which these are the default value and you can change them anytime you wish. The first one is EMA 12, the second one is EMA 26, and signal line is number nine. The blue color is MACD line, orange color is signal line, green and red is increasing and decreasing histogram bars and then you press save as soon as you press save so finally here on air canada price chart using yahoo finance we install macd indicator with 12269 period or parameters and also on the price on the price chart, we install two moving averages, 10 EMA 10 and EMA 26. We introduce also some more parameters rather than 12.26.9.
We introduced 12259, 122215, 879, 2452 9, 5131, or 5345, which is suggested by Dr. William, the author of technical analysis. If you install all these parameters, you see a slight difference between them. So choose the one you are more comfortable with. In this graph, we install two exponential moving averages. The first one is EMA12, the blue line. And the second one is EMA26, the orange line. So we called a trend is upward if the price be on the top of the blue line, EMA12, and both of them be on the top of orange line, EMA26, then the trend is upward. And if the price be under the, the blue line, EMA12, and both of them be under EMA26, the orange line, then the trend is downward. If the two moving average in price chart intersect each other, for example, they intersect at this point, at this point, at this point, and also at this point, then the corresponding value of these four points on MACD will be zero. For example, zero here, zero here, zero here, and zero here. So the MACD line intersects with the zero line. In both upward and downward of the market, rise in the length of the histogram bars means an increase in strength, and a, dec a decrease in the length of the histogram bars means a decrease in the strength of the trend. If the MACD line be above a signal line, like here, like here, like here, it means that the momentum is positive, and if the MACD line be below the signal line, for example, like here, like here, and like here, it means that the momentum is negative. Therefore, we will have the strongest upward trend in the market when MACD sign, MACD sign is positive and histogram bars are above the zero line. Like here, like here, here, and here. Similarly, we will have the strongest downward trend, the strongest downward trend when the MACD sign is negative and the histogram bars are below the zero line. Like this area, this area, and this one, and here. MACD indicator on one hand, measure the position of fast and slow exponential moving averages relative to each other and on the other hand measure the distance between two moving averages and how the distance between them changes and issues a reversal signal that is why it does the job of leading and lagging indicator a bullish crossover occurs when the MACD line turns up and crosses above the signal line, like this one here, like here, and here, and here. So these are the points that you can enter the market. You can buy shares. Similarly, a bearish crossover occurs when the MACD line turns down and crosses below the signal line, like 
right here similarly here and also here these are the points that you have to exit the market otherwise you lose money MACD could be a good indicator but there is no single technical analysis that is 100% reliable and sometimes it gives false signal so it is wisely recommended to use this indicator with other technique to compare the result in my next video i will talk about when to enter and exit the market what is the proper time frame used in your trade what other indicator can be used with macd to check the accuracy of the result how to use crossover overbought and oversold hd and rd divergence in your trade if you like this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching take care and see you next time